now we get to the last Children of the Corn movie in the Children of the Corn series that I've yet to review. I know what you're about to say. What about Runaway? What about the original from 1984? Those are already done. The 1984 film I reviewed back in 2016 for the first year of horror movie reviews in this annual Halloween series. And I reviewed the, the newest one earlier this year. But where do I stand on this one? Let's get into it. Children of the Corn 2009 is a direct-to-TV film written, produced, and directed by Donald P. Borchers based on the 1977 short story of the same name and it's in 1963 the town of Gatlin, Nebraska is suffering a severe drought in a tent a boy preacher claims that the Old Testament Canada God, whom he calls he who walks behind the rose, has spoken to a man's dreams. He tells the other children that the sinful adults are the reason for their drought, prompting them to kill everybody over the age of 19 in town. They then establish a death cult with the prime rooms that, upon reaching the age of 19, one must be sacrificed to the cult's god. And then in 1975, the traveling couple named Bert and Vicky, who are unhappily married, they encounter the, the cult of murderous children. And they have to fight to survive the cult. This is not bad actually it's not bad now of course it is much like the original film but this there are changes made instead of cult leaders in this cult being played by actors over 18 the director decided to cast age-appropriate actors and also of course um, this one is more true to the original short story and is more faithful here I do like the locations that they choose to go with here I think the, the locations are very well chosen for this remake the children are well chosen for the remake is it's not like it's it's just a remake that is just awful like the haunting or psycho day today eight the acting of course is pretty pretty good especially from the husband and wife the the kids are pretty good you do have I don't know who it is playing Malachi or Isaac but they do a pretty good job Alexa Nicola's is Ruth 
I thought she was pretty good. I do remember Alexa Nicola's from Zoe 101. You have additional voices by um, Leo Howard and Isabel Furman, who played the little girl in Orphan. She's not a little girl anymore, but this was before the Hunger, Hunger Games period. You have some good kills here. The kills are are there when they need to be. And it's now in 32 minutes, and it's a it's a well thought out an hour 32 minutes. It's not boring. It's not like I wasted my time. I just think this this is a better movie than the original film but respect the original so if there's one thing I do have to to nitpick about it is the cinematography the cinematography is pretty weak but in most parts it is passable but Overall, the Children of the Corn 2009 remake, it's not bad. And I will give Children of the Corn 2009 a highly recommend it. And that concludes my Children of the Corn review ser series. So, the Amityville and the Children of the Corn series franchises are officially completed. I just have to finish off Exorcist in this horror review series and that is going to be a part of it. Let me know what you guys think about this one down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And I will see you guys in the next horror review. This is Future Film Actor Fraser and you guys keep it cool.